Hello everyone, good morning. This is me, Diara. Welcome to a sweet little yoga session. This is one of the very first videos that I am uploading on my channel. You probably know me um, from another setting or maybe you know me from Frankfurt where I am teaching yoga classes on a regular basis. But due to the um, corona thing that's going on right now in the world, a lot of people, they are not able to keep up with their regular yoga practice. And I am also not able to teach my classes. So this is why I felt the, the pull to offer you something online. And I am not so much a fan of online live streamings, to be honest with you. So I thought it's probably um, a good idea to record a session which you can do again and again and again, whenever you feel drawn to. Okay, so excuse the setting. This is just my apartment. This is my living room. I know probably there is some issue with the light or maybe with the volume, you know, like with the sound. Um, but due to the circumstances, even if I wanted, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to buy new equipment, you know, like to bring everything to, yeah, to make everything look perfect. Um, and I know that one does not um, have to exclude the other, but let me just say that my focus is to offer you good content, okay? Good yoga content. So even if you feel like, okay, there is definitely a little room for improvement, yes, I know it is, but let's focus on the yoga, okay? And I invite you to have your eyes closed and to focus on yourself, um, more than on me, okay? So this is not so much my practice, uh, you know, and you are not supposed to look at me uh, the whole time, how I am doing things, but rather focus on what I'm telling you, okay? So I am teaching you as if this would be a regular yoga class in a studio, okay? So thank you very much for your support. Let's start in down dog position, okay? This is going to be um, a beginner class. This is definitely suitable for beginners, okay? I do have another one online as well, which is more for the advanced people. A little bit of playful vinyasa sequence, you know, like a little crazy, a little playing around. But this is basics, okay? Yoga basics, suitable for everyone. In the morning, in between, or maybe right before you go to bed. Okay, let's do it, you guys. Start in down dog position, please. Start in down dog and welcome yourself on your mat. Okay, so that means you can walk your dog a little bit, you know, bend one knee and then the other. Just start slowly. We're not under pressure, you're not under hurry, you know. We have all the time in the world and this is me time. This is, as I like to say, investment banking. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is really, I mean, I really mean it. This is investment banking on a physical level. So drop your head, relax your face muscles, forehead, eyebrows, temples. The tip of your nose is supposed to be relaxed. Your lips, your mouth, your tongue. Don't clench your tears. And then from here, bring your weight all the way to the front, which we call plank pose, okay? Just a simple, sweet little plank pose to start with. Great, and then bend your knees and push back again to down dog. A deep in and exhale from here. Maybe a little more walking your dog. Get comfortable with this pose. And then again, shift your weight forward. Plank pose, you already know that, right? Great, beautiful, and back to down dog. We're gonna do that one more time, okay? Get into your down dog, push your heels down as low as possible, which doesn't mean that your heels are supposed to touch the floor though, okay? Again, this is not a competition, and then one last time, all good things are three, as we like to say in German, plank pose. From here, take it easy. Knees, chest, and chin down to the floor. I think you look like a wave right now. Can you see that? Just knees, 
chest and chin. Try it, give it a try at least. And then all the way to the front, this is Cobra, Bhujangasana. Touch your forehead down one more time, relax and release. Deep in and exhale from here. And then one more Cobra, Bhujangasana, just a baby Cobra. The sweet little chest opener and back down to the floor. Touch your forehead to the mat. One more Cobra Bhujangasana, just mini baby style. And then push back to child's pose. Child's pose. And I welcome you to get into child's pose as often as you want to, okay? You can get into child's pose whenever you like. Whenever you feel like, oh my goodness, I'm tired or this is overwhelming me, this is a little bit too much, I think I'm having a bad day today, okay? Then relax in child's pose whenever you need to, okay? From here, roll to tabletop position, tuck your toes under and push yourself back into down dog. Great. Then step by step by step, all the way to the front, and then hang loose. Have your feet fist width apart, at least fist width apart. Bend your knees a little bit and grab your elbows. Just hang loose. I like to call this chillasana, okay? So you are just chilling here, hanging all over. You can move a little bit to the right, to the left if you like. Okay, take it easy. Deep inhale and exhale, relax everything, just hang loose, give yourself a little break, and then let go of your elbows and vertebrae per vertebrae, roll up. And then we meet just with hands in front of our heart. Namaste. Arms up. Stretch yourself out as if you would like to touch the ceiling and then arms down back in front of your heart. Namaste. One more time. Open up mountain pose. If you want to touch the ceiling with the tips of your fingers and back down Samastiti hands and prayer pose. Beautiful. Let's get further. From here, mountain pose, touching the ceiling just acting as if you would like to do so. And then bend your knees and bring everything down back to forward fold position, great. Lengthen your spine, look up a little bit. Maybe your hands are supposed to leave the floor from here, it could be, and not in my case, okay? So I am already able to keep my hands on the floor, although I'm lengthening my spine, but this is probably not for everyone, okay? So again, no pressure to you guys, okay? So, step it back, plank pose. Do you remember plank pose? This is where we are again, plank pose. And then a little bit of challenge, low push up if you like, low push up. We call it chaturanga. Bring it all down to the floor. Cobra with the inhale. And with the exhale, tuck your toes, down dog. Beautiful, let's stay here for five, inhale. Spread your fingers wide, exhale one, inhale, drop your head, relax your neck, exhale two, inhale, take it easy, exhale three, and two more of those, inhale, and exhale four. One last time, exactly where you are, down dog, Adho Swanasana. inhale and exhale. And then step, step it forward, lengthen your spine with the inhale, and with the exhale, all the way down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, stand up, mountain pose, touching the ceiling, acting just as if you would like to. And then bring your hands down in front of your heart, Namaste. One more, inhale, we call it sun salutation, Surya Namaskar, mountain pose. Bring it all the way down to the floor, forward fold. Lengthen your spine, even though your hands maybe have to leave the floor, this is perfectly fine. Your hands are not supposed to touch the floor necessarily, okay? If they do, perfect. If not, it's okay. And then step, step it backward, plank pose. From plank 
pose. You can choose. Either you bring down knees, chest, and chin. You already know that from the beginning. Or you do your plank pose, okay? If you want a little bit more, plank pose. Chaturanga, inhale, Bhujangasana. Open your heart. Exhale, tuck your toes under. Down dog. Here we go. Great. Right leg up. Step it forward. Runner's lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Sink down low. Pull your pubic bone upwards to your belly button. Stay focused and bring it down to forward fold with the exhale. Forward fold, just in front of your mat. Inhale, stand up, mountain pose. And exhale, samastiti, hands in front of your heart. Namaste. Left side, inhale up. Exhale, down low. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step, step it back. Plank pose, knee, chest, chin, or chaturanga, low push-up. If you want more. Inhale, cobra, open your heart, back bend. Chest opener, tuck your toes, down dog. Here we go. Left leg up, inhale. Step to the front, exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, warrior one, open your heart, sink down low. Take a deep breath here, enjoy your first warrior. And then all the way back to the front, it's getting warmer, right? Forward fold. Listen up, a little add-on from here, chair pose. Ooh, chair pose, something for our legs, okay? So your thighs have to be engaged here. They have to work a little bit here. It's getting even warmer. Stay here, three more. You're almost done. Two, one, and standing pose, namaste. Beautiful, great, super. So stay focused, open up yourself, mountain pose, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and then exhale, step, step, your vinyasa. Chaturanga or knee, chest, chin, you decide. You are the captain, it's your practice. So nobody knows better than you what you need right now, okay? Remember, you can take child's pose anytime. Don't you worry about that part. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step to the front. Runner's lunge. From here, circle your right arm backwards and to the ceiling. This is a little bit of a twist from runner's lunge. Just enjoy this little chest opener, this little rotation. And then bring your right hand down again. Open up, warrior one. Beautiful. And then warrior two, hip opener, warrior two. See, and take care that your front knee is bent in a right ankle, okay? So 90 degrees, beautiful. This is warrior two. We call it warrior two, don't you ask me why? It's just the name of the pose. <laughs> okay, so no big deal. Yoga is no rocket science, okay? Don't you think so much, it's better to feel things, okay? I'm, I want you to feel things. I don't want you to be so much in your head, you know, like thinking about stuff, comparing, competing, arguing, discussing, you know, judging, judging. Oh my goodness, this is such a big topic in yoga. But I don't want you to do that. I want you to feel stuff. I want you to be in your heart. And this is what Mother Teresa once said. She said that the largest distance that we humans have to overcome are these few centimeters, these few inches between head and heart, right? So from here, bring it all the way back to runner's lunge, beautiful. And then down dog, right leg means the left leg. Left leg up. So just a sweet little routine that you can do everywhere and anywhere. Okay, so runner's lunge and then twisting pose. Circle your left arm up all the way to the ceiling 
Enjoy this little rotation, this little stretch. Deep in and exhale, take it easy. And then bring your left arm down. Warrior one. Warrior one. It's maybe a little bit shaky, that's okay. See that you have your front leg bent, okay? And then from here, warrior two. Yeah, remember, you're not supposed to think so much. Feel it, feel the yoga pose, feel your strength, feel your power. And don't you think that you have to change yourself in order to do yoga? Everyone can do yoga, okay? Everyone, every single one out there. As long as you are healthy, as long as you don't have any big issues, you know, body-wise, um, you can do it, you can try it, you do your best, right? And if you need a break, you take a break. Don't you worry about that part. You don't have to be more skinnier or more flexible than you are. You can do it wherever you are, just right now, okay? So from this warrior to this very strong warrior woman pose or warrior man, but Usually, you know, like it's more the women who do yoga than the men. Although we have some beautiful, very talented male yoga teachers out there. So uh, don't you feel offended, you guys, please. Let's get it back to the beginning, okay? Front, to the front of your mat. Step your right leg to the left leg and fold over. Great, beautiful. One more time. Mountain pose, please. Touching the ceiling with your fingertips. And then the hands all in front of your heart, namaste. Great. One more vinyasa, inhale, touching the ceiling. This is the mountain pose. Exhale, all the way down, uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step, step, vinyasa. Chaturanga or Nietzsche's chin, you decide. Bring it down low and open up your heart, inhale. Bhujangasana, chest open up. And then tuck your toes, down dog. One more final down dog, okay? Walk your dog if you like. Shake your head out. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Maybe. Who knows? Mm, beautiful. Great. And then from here, bring your knees down. Tabletop position. And then stay on your mat. I'm just changing the direction so you can see me a little bit better. I want you to take your right knee from here, take your right knee, and then this is what we call, if this would be a standing pose, it would be the tree pose. You probably have heard about the tree pose, okay? So this is how it looks if you would be standing. Let me just demonstrate that, okay? This is how it would look like um, if we were standing. But we're not standing, we do it on the ground, okay? So tree pose down on the floor which is called Janu Shishasana. You know, this is supposed to be something for beginners, okay? So I'm trying to um, offer the beginners a little bit of practice so you can do something with us as well. Open up your arms to the ceiling, flex your front foot, and then all the way down. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? A sweet, deep stretch. Hmm. And your head is not necessarily supposed to touch your knee, okay? If it does, it's good. If not, don't you worry about it. Five inhales. Inhale. Exhale. Four more of these. Inhale. Feel the stretch. Enjoy it. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale, Janu Shishasana, one legged forward fold, exhale, and one more time, inhale, and exhale, great. Bring your right knee up again, okay, so this is how you are sitting right now, and then take your left arm, and cross it over, over the right knee. So this is a twisted seating position. Twist seated position, okay? Something for your spine again. And just enjoy the stretch. Just enjoy the twist, the rotation. 
offering our spine a little bit flexibility, okay? And I always like to compare the yoga practice with maintenance of an aircraft. You know, I work for a big um, airline in Germany. I work for a very big airline. And sometimes, you know, like I compare these two things. And you can, I know it sounds weird probably, but you really can compare these two things, right? So that means um, what you do here is a maintenance program. Just as we have to take care of our aircraft, you know, like we have to take care that everything is good, you know, everything is safe and secure. And this is what you do right now, okay? You take care of your body. You take care of your spine, your shoulders, you know, uh, you take care of your legs, your thighs, your feet. And also what you do is you take care of your mind state. So don't you underestimate this part as well. Beautiful. So from here, derotate to the other side. Just a little counter pose. Derotate to the other side. And then let's do these two asanas to the left, okay? Take your left leg and then a one legged forward fold, like as if this would be a mountain pose, right? Janu Shishasana. Pull your arms up and then bring them all the way down. And don't you worry about how far you get, how deep you get, okay? This is not a competition, remember. Five deep One last time, and then bring it all up. Take your left knee, twisted seated position. Right arm up and then over cross it. Over cross the knee, at least try to. If this is not possible to you, you can just hug your front knee, okay? Just hug it. Hug this knee and try to pull it a little bit closer to your belly. Close your eyes. Relax and release. This is your own individual personal maintenance program. You want to maintain your body. You want to maintain health and wellness. Because this is the goal of all yoga. The goal of all yoga, you know, is not about whether the setting of the scene is perfect and everything, you know, like all these circumstances, because sometimes, you know, you, you just can't really, you know, change the circumstances, but what you can change and what you can adjust is your mind state. It's the way that, how do you handle all the struggle and the pain and the circumstances, okay? This is what you can influence. So the goal of yoga is health and wellness. Always have that in mind. It's not, you know, like to fit into size zero. And then just a little sweet counter stretch to the other side, de-rotate. Beautiful. Great. And then lay down on your back. Hug your knees, both of them, into your chest. Sway a little bit to the right and to the left. Circle around with your pelvis. Great. So feel free to add something to your routine if you like to. This can be happy baby pose, shoulder stand, fish, plow pose, whatever you like you can add, okay? So you can make this even more personal if you like to. And if not, feel free to just sit down and relax for a minute or so, okay? Close your eyes in a cross-legged position. If a cross-legged position is not available to you, 
you can choose any other position you can lay a blanket over your shoulders if you like to and that's let's just finish this sweet little sequence here nothing special just some basics you know let's just finish this session with a little bit of silence Take the moment to thank yourself for having done this practice. Thank yourself for continuing your yoga practice no matter what, you know, against all odds. You're doing it. And remember that we are all in this together. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Thank you very much, you guys. Namaste.